Next up in our small batch brewing smash series is our second tasting of New Zealand Pacific Jade. Welcome back everybody. So if you're new to this channel, what we're doing is going back to the basics of home brewing. We are starting with smash beer, so single malt, single hop. We are doing 22 ounce bottles, 25 ounce bottles, and 12 ounce bottles. We are checking each one, we're reviewing each one once a month to see the changes in the hop and in the malts that we're using. We're gonna use a whole bunch of different hops and a whole bunch of different malts, and then we will build on that and go to one grain with two hops or two grains with two hops, something like that. So this is the second tasting, like I said, of New Zealand Pacific Jade. I did not write uh, uh, fresh citrus and spicy pepper is what I have written down for the hot profile. This is a newer one in this series. So we backed it down from two pounds, 12 ounces of grain down to two. So this is using two pounds of raw premium Pilsner malt. Um, hop schedule, this is Pacific Jade is a 14.3 alpha acid hop. So I used 0.1 ounce at 30 or at 60 minutes, 0.25 ounces at 10 minutes, and 0.25 ounces at five minutes with 0.4 ounces three days into dry hop. Now this one was under uh, the one gallon mark after I got done. I was playing around with the stove. These are all one gallon or 1.25 gallon batches going into the carboy. So I did add water to bring this down to a 1040. Beersmith wanted 1042, so I did an okay job with that. Bottled on 726, it was 4.25 bricks. That is a re refractometer reading, so I did have to do a calculation to get the true ABV, which is 4.94% on this one. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what we get. I never go back and check the review before uh, if there are any, just because I want this to come off as, okay, let's smell it for what it is, almost like a blind or a first time tasting. I don't wanna know what I got before because each month these could change a lot. Uh, they could stay the same. Uh, it's just something I do. I don't care what the last one is. Uh, let's keep on checking and seeing how these beers go. We do have a white fluffy head on there in small and medium bubbles. About a finger and a half bubbles on the side are uh, spread apart like bubble wrap color. It is using the raw premium Pilsner malt. We do have a light color, light yellow, bright light yellow I should say a ton of bu bubbles coming up it is hazy a little bit uh, I can make out the light box but I couldn't tell you it was a light box just looks like a square uh, so on for carbonation on this one I did use the Cooper's carbonation tablets uh, one tablet per 12 ounces now this is a 22 ounce bottle so you have to use two of them it, Good luck cutting those if you're gonna try something like that. So I did use two, and one big thing that we found out is using two of those drops in a 22 ounce bottle, it does overcarb the beer some. Now I have purchased the smaller pearl ones where it can be, let's say, detailed a little bit more. So going forward, we will use those for a little bit and see how those do. I've never used them before, so we might as well try them. So enough about that. Let's go ahead and smell, see what we get. I do get a pepper. Now it's gone. There is a little green pepper uh, hop uh, uh, set in there. Uh, maybe some lemon. 
I do get a bell pepper, slight bell pepper lemon hop smell. Uh, I don't think I got the, the green pepper before. I could have. Spicy? I don't know. Uh, there, there is a weird smell coming from there. I, I, I think it's from the, the bell pepper itself. I wouldn't say spicy, but there is something there. It could be that bell pepper citrus kind of mixing or the bell pepper uh, hop mixing. With that high of an alpha acid, I could see some, some hop uh, pellet smell in there. Uh, I don't know if I got that before, but that's what we're getting now. Let's go ahead and taste. Overcarb, bell pepper, a little pepper, spicy note. My mouth is spicy. Aftertaste is spicy like a pepper. Some, some malt in there, a little yeast. It almost tastes like it's over hopped. Like there's too much hop, hop bitterness in there. A, a little bit of hop bitterness. Now that could come from uh, when we dry hop three days, we do leave the hops in there until the end. With this light of malt and maybe leaving those hops in there for let's say 12 days, 10 to 12 days is a little too much. Maybe we should have pulled them, but on all of them, that's what we're doing. On a lot of them, we do not get that vegetal hop taste. Uh, even on the other Pilsners or the raw premium Pilsner malts, the ones that we've used, we have not gotten that taste. I think there's one other one that we've got this kind of taste from. So maybe it is just the lighter uh, malt with a higher alpha acid hop. Yeah, a little bell pepper, a little peppery spice in there. Then that that hop, like you are using, like it's over hopped, a high alpha acid hop used way too much. That's what I'm getting. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. I could see citrus as my palate's warming up. Maybe some citrus in there in the middle, middle of the palate. Not bad. Easy drinking, light beer, overcarbed a little bit, like I said. If you're not a bell pepper fan, I'd probably say this is going to be a drain pour. Uh, I would drink all this. Uh, it's good. It's very different in that 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 pellet hop taste that I'm getting in there with that bell pepper. Um, my my tongue. It's. I wouldn't say tingling, but it's like coated. But yeah, overall, not a bad beer. Would I make a smash beer with uh, Pacific Jade again? No. I, I think at this point, it needs to be um, in combination with another hop. Uh, but we'll see if it tones down. Like I said, I it's like there's too much. Like maybe it's too young. Uh, it needs to settle down. Maybe that malt level needs to start taking over a little bit. And those alpha acids need to fade off some uh, just to mellow it out. It's almost like it's in your face with that hop and it's too much. But for the most part, good color, good head, uh, overcarbed a little bit. But as it sits out, that carbonation will release and it should be fine. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.